Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can go about changing scenes for your animation. So you know like scene 1, scene 2, scene 3. And um, there are several ways that you can do this. For one, um, you could save out each of your scenes individually and then import them into a video editing program and then you know cut them together. But you can also do that in Synfig, right? So today I'm going to show you how, well, one way that you can do that in Synfig. Um, so here I have two different scenes that I've labeled scene one and scene two. And please note that, you know, you can call your scenes whatever you want. So I, I just labeled these scene one and scene two so we can differentiate them easily. So let's go ahead and look at what is on scene one. So both of them have their own animations. So this is stars moving across the screen for scene one and for scene two, we have some circles moving down. Okay. All right. So what we need to do is make sure that these both the scenes are of the same width and the same height. Okay. And their frame rate is the same. So both of these scenes are 1920 by 1080 and they are all playing at 24 frames per second. I'm going to close these two scenes and I'm going to go to File, New to start a new document. And we want to make sure that this new document has the same settings as um, our other scenes. So let's go to Canvas, Properties, and uh, make sure that the width and the height is the same and that the frame rate is the same. Okay, so if you are using 30 frames per second, you would change this to 30 or whatever frame rate, frame rate that you're using, okay? Now, what we want to do is import both scenes into this new scene that we have. Go to File, Import, and I'm going to import Scene 1 first. And then I'm going to import Scene 2. So, File, Import, Scene 2. Okay, and we can play just to see. So they are both inside of our new document here. And if you look on the layers, uh, you can see the path where they were saved. Okay, um, so you can actually go ahead and change the name for this just to make things more organized. So I'm going to call this one, I'm just going to rename this scene one. And please note that this won't affect your animation. Okay. So this is scene one, and then I'm gonna rename this one to scene two. All right, so we have our two scenes in. Let's begin switching the scenes. Now, the next step we want to do is we want to change the opacity for both of these layers to zero. So let's go over into the, prop well, we can select the both of them. And in the properties panel, we'll just change the both of their opacities all at once by just typing zero, press enter. So you won't be able to see those scenes. So we know that we want to start with scene one, right? So we want scene one to start at frame zero right here. Okay, so I'm gonna just go to frame zero and change its opacity to one because this is the first scene. And uh, we're actually going to animate the scenes changing. Let me go to the keyframes properties and I, let me delete the initial keyframe because we don't want that. And you need to decide where you want scene two to, to, to come in or where you want the, the scene to change from scene one to scene two. So you can come anywhere within scene one and then make the change there. Or let's say we want for all purposes, we want the entirety of scene one to play out all the way down to the end. So it ends at frame 83. So we want scene two to begin playing at that frame there. Right, so let's start animating this transition. Well, this scene change. Um, what you want to do is change the free the keyframe type to constant because you don't want a gradual uh, switch from one scene to the next. You just want it to be like a cut from one scene to the second scene. So that's why we're, we're using the constant keyframe. Um, so let's turn on anime now and let's go and set up. So at frame zero, it's at the opacity is one and 
at the end, we want to change that to zero. So let me type zero and uh, let me go back here and change this back to one. So it changes from one to zero. So we won't see it when it ends, right? So let's go to scene two and on scene two, we want the scene two to show up at the end of um, scene one, which is frame 83. So let's, we can actually go here and just type 83. So here, um, so we want the opacity here to be one. And of course, we don't want it to be seen um, down here. So let's change this to zero. Okay, so zero, one. So it comes on at frame uh, 83. So if we should play, we see scene one and then we see scene two. But notice that on scene two, the animation that is on scene two has already ended. So how can we fix that to make it play at the beginning? Well, um, with scene two selected, just go to the time offset property. And what we want to do is we want to minus the end frame from from the first scene. So the first, what do I mean by that? The first scene ends at frame 83. So on scene two, we just want to go to time offset and type in minus 83 and press enter. And what that does, it moves all the keyframes for scene two down to frame 83. So it begins at frame 83. Okay, so if we should play this back, we see it making that change. Okay, and of course we can extend um, the scene here. Let me just extend this to maybe 240 so we can see more of the, the animation for scene two. And that's how you would switch from one scene to the next scene in Synfig. So I hope you learned something in this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Yo. Yeah.